Hi guys, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to capture the video using the QuickTime player and also capture the system audio or the screen audio. So basically, the QuickTime player having the option for you to recording the screen for the webcast and you can capture the external audio using the microphone but it not allow you to capture the system audio to be able to capture the system audio we're gonna set up a new application or the add-on name I show you the audio so from the Google you're gonna search for I show you audio and then select the I show you audio capture from shiny white box and what you're gonna do is you're gonna download and install this add-on and once it has been downloaded click into the download to start the installation so the installation is very straightforward and you can follow exactly the instruction on the website this one system extension block for the security and you may need to open it and allow this exception I'm gonna start the installation on my computer and if we have this block issue I'm gonna show you guys how to add the security exception so let's go back to the installation process and then select continue and select install type in the password okay so the program has been blocked by the system security so to allow this application you're gonna open the security preference and then you're gonna select the allow option to unblock this application from the security setting and then you click the lock to make change type in the password again and unlock so the application has been unlocked you can close this box and when you go back to the installation process you're going to continue right now it's updating preboot validating package so now the installation process was successful you can close the application right now and the next step you're going to do is you're going to open the MIDI the MIDI audio you can do that by opening the finder and type in MIDI audio MIDI setup and you're gonna click into the plus icon at the left bottom select create multi output device and you're gonna select the I show you audio capture and you can close the audio device the next step you're gonna do is configure the sound option in the system setting you're gonna do that by open the Spotify shirt using command and space and then select sound and then under system preference select sound and select the tab output and from here you have the I show you audio capture and you also having the multi output device you're gonna make sure that the type of this device is aggregate device so now you can close the sound setting and then now we're gonna ready to recording the video with the system audio using the QuickTime player. And now, whenever you're recording a new video in the QuickTime player, just select the files and then select the new screen recording. Because I'm recording on this computer, this option is disabled. But I take the picture to illustrate how we can do the setup. So we're gonna select the microphone option here and select the external microphone and now you're gonna be able to record the external audios which is in my scenario is the external microphone and then the system audio as well so to demonstrate that I'm gonna open a YouTube video this is Happy New Year and now you're gonna able to hear my voice and then the system audio which is the YouTube audio on my computer at the same time it can capture both my voice from the external microphone and the system audio so this is a quick tip today on how you can capture the system or the screen audio 
using a extension is I show you audio I hope this tip gonna help you in recording the better video thank you for the watching bye